This past April 2016, the National Pressure Ulcer Advisory Panel came out with new guidelines for pressure ulcer staging. Some of the new things to look out for is pressure ulcers are no longer called pressure ulcers, they are called pressure injuries. The staging guidelines for the most common pressure injuries, stage one through four, remain the same. However, we no longer use Roman numerals and we use Arabic numerals, so the regular one, two, three, and four. The reason for the change from pressure ulcer to pressure injury was to clarify that stage one pressure ulcers are not really open ulcers, they are actually injuries and there is no open skin. That is intact skin. Another change that was made was that suspected deep tissue injury is now just called deep tissue injury. And the panel also created two new categories which are medical device related pressure injuries and mucosal membrane pressure injuries which relate to either medical devices or injuries to the mucosal membranes. It must be very important for practitioners to start adopting or learning this new language although it will take time to adopt this language. Uh, we will be doing this in our practice at Skilled Wound Care and we recommend our partners realize this in the nursing facility this will probably be something that will come about in the MDS guidelines in the future and people must be aware of this and of course as new things come about we learn about them. Once again we believe at Skilled Wound Care that pressure injuries are a result of a multitude of factors not just poor nursing care or not just uh, poor medical care and we really want to work together as a team to provide a partnership in healing.